Welcome to Fred Chendo Analysis, ladies and gentlemen. Propaganda is defined as a deliberate and systematic effort to disseminate, spread, and perpetuate certain ideas that may include falsehood, half-baked truth, and rumors to influence the way a society behaves, thinks, and even acts. Propaganda is always meant to ensure that a society will behave in a certain manner, believes in a certain manner, and even to change the attitude of a society. And propaganda has been used over time in memorial, in political science. Yesterday, Denis Situmbi came up with the certain statements that on further scrut uh, scrutiny, you will realize are only tantamount to propaganda. David Situmi on his social media platform said that the previous administration led by the then commander in chief Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta and the former DCI used to torture and butcher victims who did not share the same political ideologies as them. And David Situmi is saying that there was a certain special container that was uh, that was in state house where such victims used to be tortured before they were murdered and thrown into yala river those statements are very reckless and very precarious and can plunge the country into uncertainty political uncertainty if you ask me the reason why I want us to look very deeply into Dennis Itumbi's statements is because if you look at uh, what propaganda does, propaganda will always appeal to your emotions rather than calm reasoning. It is always meant to appeal to your passion rather than logic. And those who listen to, pro to propaganda will always, they, they, they always have this tendency of listening to the story and they don't want to listen to the lie that is hidden within the propaganda. And that is the reason why I want us, uh, ladies and gentlemen, to try and scrutinize Dennis Itumbi's statements. When you look further and study what propaganda does, you will realize that Propaganda usually leaves certain gray areas unanswered because there are statements that are just thrown to influence uh, a society. There are about four types of propaganda. Religious propaganda is one of them where religious leaders will use certain falsehood statements to influence their congregation, to indoctrinate them to believe in a certain way. That is why to date, a Muslim and a Christian are very unlikely to agree on certain religious issues. Now, there is also um, advertisement propaganda. This is always used uh, during promotion of services, goods and services. And they, the, the statements there are meant to influence the buyer to believe that the good or service that she or is about to buy is the best. And then we have uh, war propaganda. War propaganda is always used to intimidate the opponent or influence those who are going to war to believe that they are uh, uh, serving a, be a, a best cause. In fact, if you look at the history of propaganda, it was used notably by the Nazis led by Adolf Hitler. When Hitler wanted to butcher the Jews, he used propaganda to indoctrinate uh, the Nazis to believe that Jews were bad people. He even called them rats. And he killed very many Jews. The Jews, I mean. And then there is political propaganda. That is exactly what Itumbi is doing. In politics, propaganda really works. They used it during the campaigns. And that is why most of the campaign gimmicks that were done uh, and, and all the promises cannot be 
implemented today because most of them were based on propaganda. I want us to look exactly at the gray areas that Itubi's statements are not answering. As we delve so much into this propaganda, ladies and gentlemen, if you are watching this channel for the first time, allow me to request you with profound humility to hit the subscribe button. That is one of the support you can give to this channel. Hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so that whenever we release a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And uh, please give our videos many likes. Like I said earlier, propaganda appeals to emotions and that is what Dennis Situmi wants. Just to appeal to emotions and spread this propaganda so that people can really feel that Uhuru Kenyatta and Kinoti were very bad people. I must say this. One life lost is a life too many. And we really need to condemn any time we have mysterious deaths in any administration, even on this one. But let us start by asking Itumbi, rather than just throwing blanket accusations and statements, who were these people who held different political ideologies from that of Uhuru Kenyatta and Kinoti, who were tortured, murdered, and thrown in Yala River? We all understand that there were certain Buddhists that were thrown in Yala River, and we condemn it with the strongest terms possible. But the criminal justice demands that you don't just throw words. So it will be must come up, explicitly explain who were these people name by name, and how many were they. Can we attach a name to all these accusations? so that we can believe because i must state in this platform that if there is anyone who perpetrated mass killing of innocent kenyans that that person belongs to jail but the burden of proof lies with dennis itumbi because his statements were following that of president william ruto when he was answering questions in status from journalists he also alluded to some statements that there was a container in state house that was full of blood where people were being butchered. So Itumbi must tell us who are they? How many were they? Without such clarification, then these statements remain rumors and we must condemn rumors, especially in a very precarious political situation such as Kenyans. Why is George Kinoti still walking scot free because, as I indicated, the 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 the, the, the law of, of 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 justice demands that if there are victims that were murdered as a result of 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 of, of holding a different political view and a political ideology from that of the president, then those who the, the perpetrators must be brought to book. Why haven't they uh, investigated George Kinoti? prosecuted and punished him. Why is George Kinodi walking, walking scot-free? The answer is clear. They are lying. I certainly believe that the judiciary and the executive are friends, paid fellows. And so if there was such a thing and they were very sure that the previous administration perpetuated such uh, atrocities, then they should have gone to court and the court will not take a second to punish Mr. George Kinoti, ladies and gentlemen. But the reason why I find these statements very reckless, ladies and gentlemen, in as much they are, as they, they are meant to achieve certain political goals, the end result could be more dangerous than what they expected. Because they envisage to ensure that they remind Kenyans that Uhuru Kenyatta was a devil. We all know, we were here. Uhuru Kenyatta was a former president. And we understand that he is not impeccable. He's got his weaknesses. But was he that bad as Dennis Tumbi is trying to paint him? Just help me understand. Maybe um, there are things I don't understand. Was Uhuru Kenyatta that bad? And I also understand that there are several uh, uh, pertinent issues that are now grappling, uh, the Kenyans are grappling with. And at the height of it all is the 
discussion and the debate about the, the, the cost of living, William Ruto promised that he was going to bring down the, 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 the prices of basic commodities. But instead, the prices are skyrocketing and the, base, the, 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 the cost of living is high. So Dennis Tumbi and the team would want to, 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 to use this as a diversionary tactic to ensure that we no longer debate on the most potent issue today. They want to divert people's attentions, to start talking about who killed who. But this is not the right way. But the end game and the end result of what Itumbi thinks is going to, to make Kenyans hate uh, Uhuru administration might backfire on him. Why? Already Kenyans are asking these questions and they are no answers because William Ruto himself sometimes back said that we have shortage of fools in Kenya. We are intelligent people and Kenyans will always scrutinize statements. We don't want blanket statements. The end uh, result of those statements will be painful because we already have Kenyans who lost their loved ones and some of them are gradually uh, overcoming such trauma. But when you you, when someone is forgetting uh, uh, such painful moments and you come up in the beginning of the year we are welcoming ushering in a new year and you come up with certain reckless statements you are reminding them that they lost their loved ones and you are reminding them that apart from losing their loved ones you know the perpetrators of such atrocities you are at the helm of power and you cannot investigate and or prosecute them. So what are you telling the victims? It is also going to backfire because it is trying to paint the police in bad picture. When the SS unit was disbanded, the police went on a go slow. When they are being paraded everywhere as criminals, the police service is supposed to protect Kenyans, yet they are being portrayed as people who are, are hell-bent to just killing Kenyans. Because when you say that the police killed people and, and threw them in Rivayala. The policemen and women are our relatives. They come from the society where we come from. What are you telling them? Do, are you now saying that when we meet them, we should now see them as murderers? And this is the reason why we are saying that there should be specific names. Who are these people who perpetrated this? Don't remind Kenyans who lost their loved ones of things that they are beginning to forget. The only thing Kenyans want to see is a government that is working day and night to you know ensure that they implement all the promises that they gave to Kenyans. I don't know what you think ladies and gentlemen but that is my take.